story time, <laughs> um, violence, <laughs> warning. Um, I promised myself that I wouldn't tell this story, but I'm gonna, cause we be brave and we speak and that's what we do. More than once I've been the victim of a group of people. Uh, so like I'm wearing a dress and walking down the street and like a group decides to get together and come after me and um, do something violent. And one, one time, I'm gonna speak about it in a roundabout way. One time when I lived in Philadelphia, I had a pink um, patent leather coat, uh, like a trench. And that was my favorite thing in the world. Where is she now? And a dark purple sparkle lip and very short hair then and was on the subway and a group of teenage boys were in the same subway car. And you, you know how you step into the car? Am I the only one that like crosses the street when there's a bunch of teenage boys just hanging out? <clears throat> no offense to anybody who may be a teenage boy, but in a group. Um, so I step in and there's this group over there and didn't take very long. They start calling me names and, and boobity bop. And I step out early. I was like, I was in heels, but I was like, I'm going to walk because um, I'm going to get out early and go walk to my home. And they come out with me and they follow me. Uh, my, my goal then was to not let them know where I live. So I kind of walked around and, and they eventually caught up with me and things. Thank you for supporting trans people. And thank you for teaching young men specifically not to be violent when they see us.